cat scratch fever Before coronavirus I was sick These birds tail feathers on my dick All it takes is one time One slip up and one cat tie And you can say bye to your nine lives It's a cat attached to feet Coming after me That's a waste of time A cold black category nine It's a sad sad song for you motherfuckers That ain't paid your dues So I'ma sing these alley cat blues Ah man Factions <laughs> A lot of people Co-canon of all is this thing on? Testing, testing. Yep, it is. Danger Zone, it's been a while. How you guys doing tonight? Haven't seen you guys in about, what, a month? Maybe two? Ah, man, where do I start? I mean, life outside the ring is, is I mean, it's docile. I've been at home, spending a lot of time with my two children, Aria and Marcella. Hi, girls. Told them I'd, I'd say hi to them on TV. They're kind of excited about it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, June 10th, 2018. That was the first time I ever held a championship in my career. Global title. I remember that match well. Fighting Miz Doc on him and just having a great match that night. I mean, I was on fire, you guys, if you didn't see it. Walked away, winning the championship, defended it against him the following week in a successful 2-0 victory in a 2 out of 3 falls match. Beat Roy Harper in a last man standing, his first defeat. Sent him packing to the tag team division. I mean, who would have known that later on in life we'd become pretty close friends? I mean, who would have known he'd also kidnap my children at one point, huh? But I digress. Ah, man. You know, December 27th, 2018 was the last time I held the global title. That was the third time. I mean, obviously, there was the one time where I lost to Kaz back in July. But I won that back July 27th. But all the championships up to this point have been great. There's still a few that... uh, I've not managed to get, like the Extreme title, the Universal title, which, if you guys uh, remember, that was actually the last match that I'd had prior to the injury that's uh, sidelined me to this point. And um, that's actually what I'm here to talk about tonight. I've uh, gotten uh, words from the doctors, and there have been several doctors and well, long story short, these To make things, to make things short, uh, I've gone, I've gone to several specialists. Um, I've had surgery in my shoulder, uh, <coughs> and the separated shoulder and a herniated disc hurt a lot more than uh, a lot more than the guys in the back will probably tell you. And uh, well, unfortunately, they were for. Yeah, there were unforeseen complications with the surgeries, and I I have to retire. Um, I am not able to compete anymore in the ring professionally. Um, man, this is actually a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be coming out here telling you guys all this, but. Effectively, today, June 29th, 2020, the in-ring career of the one Charlie Whiskers officially has to come to an end. And there's really no, there's really no easy way to If 
if I could give you guys one more match, believe me in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat, I would. I really would. I love this business. Wrestling has been in my blood since a young tyke, you know? I mean, I grew up watching some of the greatest wrestlers of all time. You know, guys like Triple H, guys like Stone Cold Steve Austin, guys like The Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, The Rock. I watched a lot of the great superstars in my day. And at one point, I never thought that I would be one of those great superstars. Never really thought that in my lifetime, I would be one of those household names, you know? And I've had some amazing matches in this business. I've had some amazing matches in this company with a lot of the guys in the back. Some of them friends, some of them, well, not quite as friendly. Some of them downright just enemies. I've had matches with people like Coke Cannon. You know, one of the pioneers of our company. You know, and despite what a lot of people might think about Coke, you know, behind the scenes, Coke's actually a really cool guy. You know, and we actually talked after that match at High Voltage. Little people, you know, not not many people really know about this, but, uh, you know, we talked after the match, you know, and the first thing I said to Coke, when he came back from behind the curtain was I said Coat I'll say it once and I'll say it again it only takes one and uh, the guys in the back are probably going to be a little upset about this one but you want to know what Coat's response to that was his exact words were fuck you whiskers <laughs> We laughed about it. We shook hands. I would like to say that we went out and had a few drinks, but, well, a few drinks is probably not what Coke Cannon needs. We don't need another episode of that in the ring now, do we? Uh, I, um, I've had matches with guys like Derek Wolf, one of my closest friends in the ring. I mean... That guy put me through a table just so that he could get to the global championship. And that cemented his legacy right then and there. I've had the privilege of being tag partners with JJ the Great. I've gotten my ass whooped, and I've also whooped the ass of Blade Black. I've laid Chris Omega out in this ring before. But at the same time, if you ever saw some behind the scenes footage, Chris Omega is one of the absolute biggest pranksters of all time in the locker room. And he's got me a few times. He's caught me slipping a few times. I still owe you one, Chris. <laughs> one day. Maybe one day. <sighs> Guys. It's really, you know, this is a, I hate to say that this is a goodbye. I really do. But, unfortunately, the man with nine lives has to call it quits. And I could sit in this ring all night and go down memory lane about so many classic matches that I've had with so many great superstars. But I'm not going to do that tonight. Tonight, I'm just going to ride off into the sunset. Ladies and gentlemen, Charlie Whiskers is out. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the program. Enjoy the rest of your night. And remember, it still only takes one. Cat scratch fever before coronavirus, I was sick. 
birds tail feathers on my dick All it takes is one time, one slip up and one cat's eye And you can say body to your nine lives It's a catastrophe coming after me That's a waste of time, a cold black category nine It's a sad, sad song for you motherfuckers that ain't paid your dues So I'ma sing these alley cat blues I made a venom with the mafia Just from the belt